Hello everyone and now welcome to this yes orc mirror match between Armin versus Razorman. Armin versus Razorman or I guess a matchup between Razor Arm, Razor Fist. I don't know if anyone watched the Shang-Chi movie. Um, pretty pretty entertaining uh, film. Uh, Marvel doing a good well, I, what I thought was a good job making an Asian American movie and um, just uh, some of the banter between in in those stories are just absolutely hilarious and funny anyways let's go ahead and break things down in this matchup we are looking at well altar of storms and burrow going up against altar of storms barracks and burrow so it could be what blade master grunts going up against farseer headhunters and already straight from the straight out of the gate time is going to tell here and let's go ahead and speed things up we don't need to just watch these buildings being built. It is going to be Farseer Headhunters coming in from Armin B. Meanwhile, it looks like it is going to be Farseer Grunts coming in from Razorman. As we are both sides getting get additional Orc Burrows. Yes, they are. No quick tech to tier 2. All right. No quick tech to tier 2. Farseer Spirit Wolves Voodoo Lounge down across over here. Trying to clear things up. Farseer absorbing a bit more damage than he would like. Could pick up the claws of attack plus five grunt now is going to be joining out onto the battlefield as well it feels that that grunt is just a little bit later than normal as the grunt now back out here ready to do a little bit of damage all right voodoo lounge pick up picking up perhaps the healing salve the clarity potion scroll of speed and now ready to move on out off on the other side it looks like they're going to see a little bit of a scuffle here on autumn leaves Farseer, Farseer pass each other. Farseer trying to back away, allowing a little bit more healing to still take place. This Farseer taking a little bit of damage does not have any items as the Farseer getting chased down by those Spirit Wolves. All right, a little bit of damage going after here. There's a, a well, one burst damage. Finally, the Farseer loses that healing salve, but he was already at full hit points, so it doesn't really matter. Tech to Tier 2 has already begun. Orc Burrow well, deterring any sort of harassment tactics as the Headhunters are out here as well. All right, quite a bit of damage being absorbed here as Spirit Wolf trying to back away, trying not to give any experience whatsoever. More damage still being added onto those Headhunters as well as well, we should be looking at some sort of a voodoo lounge being placed down eventually. Interesting scenario here, um, as there are currently absolutely no healing um, items for um, for Armin, so that could potentially be a problem as we see the Spirit Wolves quickly getting taken out there. Farseer already on a run, leaving behind two Spirit Wolves, can do a little bit of padding, cause some problems, prevent those Spirit Wolves from getting even close to Razorman's Farseer. Farseer getting a little bit of bonus experience nearly at level two. Meanwhile, the other Farseer of Armin trying to do a little bit of a chase going after with those spirit wolves there and still no sign of overall strategies. All right. Great hall being placed or, or teching the tier two on both sides. Voodoo lounge finally being placed down by the red orc as he realizes, wait a second, I, I need to be able to heal up my units after they take up damage. Otherwise, I'm just going to lose this war of attrition far too easily. All right, there goes a wolf here. Armin looking to get to level two. Should be able to get to or get very close to level two, if not there. Yes, level two now on the Farseer for Armin, who um, well, make, made up a little bit of that race there. Are we going to see the chain lightning perhaps steal from Armin? Is Armin going to try and chain lightning steal it? No, he does not. Instead, goes after the grunt. And, well, still going after the grunt there. Meanwhile, we are seeing Tome of Intelligence finishing off there. Grunt finally gets taken down. As the headhunters are now trying to retreat back, Farseer goes back, picks up the slippers of agility, and now making its way back down here as well. Both sides with level two heroes. Razorman with more items, claws of attack plus five, and also a slippers of agility. Farseer looking to go for an engagement here. Grunt now trying to retreat back. Headhunters back off to the north. Headhunters versus Grunts. Uh, uh, well... Headhunters able to get d damage in from a distance while the grunts can absorb more damage and also dish quite a bit once they close in on that distance. What is the long-term strategy? What is the long-term play coming in from both sides here as Razorman looks to clear off and well, remove one of those resources that are often forgot about in Warcraft 3, his opponent's 
creeps. If you're able to get map control and able to take out your opponent's creeps, you force your opponent to spend more time trying to figure out where creeps are available and how they can level up their hero. Armin now looking to retreat back here as Razorman still has a slight experience advantage, but it may not amount to very much as the headhunters still able to poke back here. No sign for a tech to tier 3 either as those headhunters really do need to get um, higher up in level um, or tier um, tier three as their hit points are just far too low, especially after the Berserker strength has been upgraded, allowing these grunts to deal more damage and get and have more hit points as well. Berserker strength, pretty much a mandatory upgrade at tier two, get, giving a slight advantage to Razorman's grunts as we're looking at the Shadow Hunter, well, opening up with Hex first, and now the Farseer perhaps trying to get to level three quickly, as we're looking at the Scouting, Spirit Wolf, and Farseer coming quickly from behind. All right, last Forest Troll Trap, we're gonna get taken down level three, now on the Farseer, maybe summoning in new Spirit Wolves, little bit of damage right there, and now damage getting added up, quick Hex onto the Shadow Hunter. Shadow Hunter could be in a little bit of trouble trying to back away, Farseer, Squirrel of Speed trying to chase after the units, the Spirit Wolves didn't get the Squirrel of Speed though, as the Shadow Hunter looks like he will be able to get away without much of a problem. Grunts, Farseer continuing this battle here, as the Headhunters now are trying to retreat back, the Headhunters actually move quite a bit slowly, as the Farseer is trying to get around his own Grunts, unable to do exactly that and one headhunter looks like he will be able to retreat back at 43 hit points meanwhile shadow hunter still running around in circles trying to well, run away from the farseer farseer suddenly all of a sudden turned or suddenly turned into a quick frog there as the shadow hunter gonna go after the farseer again shadow hunter quickly uses scroll of town portal not wanting to wait for the cooldown of the shadow hunter's hex to come back online disabling any sort of escape whatsoever <clears throat> Shadow Hunter bringing healing items all the way around. 40 supply compared to 40. Tech to tier 2 still on both sides. No sign of a tech to tier 3. And this is a dangerous position for Ar Armin to be in. He wants to get into, into tier 3 for, or he wants Berserkers if he can get to tier 3. But spending that time and spending the gold on those upgrades could give Razorman um, a bigger advantage as well if he stays in tier, tier 2 and is able to do a proper timing push before we get that return on that upgrade. All right, Headhunters continuing to well, poke around and back and forth. Meanwhile, we're going to see Razorman come in with Grunts and Raiders. I don't know if Pillage has been researched. Um, I'll have to take a quick look at that as um, well, Raider, come on, Raider, get an attack on something, please. All right. Um, nope, no pillage being researched at all. Instead, Burrow currently suffering quite a bit of damage as we're seeing the units just trying to fight their way through. All right, quick hex onto a grunt. Massive repairs underway. The Farseer should actually be summoning some Spirit Wolves along the backside here and try and get some damage onto these peons um, with some critical strikes as well. But that's not what we're seeing as a Chain Lightning bounces around, finishes things off. Healing Wave coming back across. Shadow Hunter could be in a little bit of trouble as Armin now with level 3. This is some big, big plays here as that spirit wolves now fi trying to finally go after those headhunters we see a quick purge onto one of the two wolves as we're seeing healing waves still bouncing around as well 37 supply compared to 42 razorman without home field advantage and with a smaller army taking quite a bit of damage here as one raider gonna get taken down another raider could have been taken down as well continuing the fight back and forth here grunts going after in the snared units healing wave trying to save some of those units as the farce here quickly uses a scroll of speed in order to get away Grunt's trying to um, maximize some of that damage, but realizing, wait a second, I'm low on hit points as well, as the level 2 Spirit Wolves landing in some big critical strikes onto those headhunters with normal damage. These Grunts need to be retreating. They cannot be uh, trying to re-engage on the fight here as another headhunter, nope, does not get taken down. This could potentially be a big problem there. Farseer tried to get the final shot off on that headhunter, was unable to do so as this headhunter able to stick alive and stay around well. Squirrel of Speed now coming back in from Armin. That's going to be a big play indeed. Another raider could get taken down here. Squirrel of Speed, however, going to be coming to an end, unable to catch up and close the distance on the Shadow Hunter and that raider. All right, coming back through, we see a quick hex onto a low hit point raider, the Hermit Crab. Um, Raider trying to slowly make its way back home will not be able to get there. Um, Autumn Leaves 2.0 has multiple creep type and creep camp position changes, also some terrain changes. Um, I didn't. 
Oh, so oh, so there isn't that um, isn't that ability to come in from behind and attack that gold mine any longer. All right, so yeah, some slight balancing changes here, as still Forest Troll Warlord coming back around here makes a lot of sense. Thank you for pointing those out, Metaphysics. Farseer looking to engage against the Forest Troll High Priest, take them down, as we're still looking at the well, the Forest Troll Warlord Sasquatch level four on the Farseer now. So level four Farseer, level two Shadow Hunter going up against level three, level two here, as there is a Health Stone here, Kodo Beast joining in on the battle, and that's going to be a big, big damage bonus for Razorman, as Razorman going to go ahead and dine and dash, chomping up on a Headhunter. More damage still coming on through. Level 3 Shadow Hunter now out on the battlefield. More healing wave trying to come back around. Farseer able to be saved temporarily as the Scroll of Town Portal gives him invulnerability. I haven't had time to to study um, the different the different uh, map changes. Um, a lot of stuff going on in my neck of the woods. Um, good things, all good things. As the Shadow Hunter trying to get to level three here, Orange Tree Camp on left and right too, instead behind Expos. Ah, okay. Oh, so they move the positioning from here to here. All right, level three now on the Shadow Hunter. One, a mana stealing going to be picked up there, and that is going to give perhaps Razorman exactly what he needs to try and and come out a bit ahead. Mana on the Shadow Hunter. Uh, very very important and if you can steal it from your opponent as well to give yourself an additional hex um, that your opponent was perhaps counting on that slight miscalculation that razor razor thin margin and edge could become the difference farseer sitting at level three Far, um, farseer sitting at level four so level four level three going up against what i believe to be soon level four level three as well and no level ups here but well what is going to go down here headhunters trying to go after this granite golem creep camp very difficult the dire frost wolves with critical strikes the granite golems with the boulder tosses and then coupled with those claps could do quite a bit apparently the granite golem doesn't want to stand into stand in the water and um, for a little bit as it i guess he's feeling like his his lower half may dissolve from that water over time. Erosion does take place, but it takes place over many, many, many years. Coming back around, another boulder onto the Shadow Hunter. And coming back through, and we're still looking at still more creeping as, as well. Razorman, not creeping as difficult of a creep can as Armin. And Armin may luck out here, being able to pick up a helm of a valor, strength, and agility for the Shadow Hunter. More hit points, more damage as well. And, and what's well, going to make him that much more difficult to finish off as he also has a wand of mana stealing. So wand of mana stealing versus wand of mana stealing, they may just cancel each other out as a grunt and a raider both get caught in a transit. All right, that is a huge, huge setback and loss right there. There goes the raider. We now see berserkers are online as the tech to fortress has been completed. And Razorman has, well, some problems to overcome as he also leaves behind a mantle of intelligence. Shadowhunter, Farseer, all ready to move on out here. And we're looking at the Berserkers, 2-0 upgrades. Trying to finish off more units. Thank you for the follow. A quick purge onto the Grunt, but the heal or the scroll of speed quickly counteracting that as the units are trying to get into position here. Farseer trying to get in some damage. Shadowhunter trying to back away. Healing wave bouncing around. And still more fighting as the peons. Where are they going? The peons are trying to perhaps set up an expansion here as the Spirit Walker quickly gets taken out. All right, Berserkers are under that Berserker frenzy right now. They are taking a, a bit, quite a bit more damage at the same time and now also have Bloodlust. So it is Bloodlust and Berserker frenzy. Those are fast attacking Berserkers. If, as long as they're not taking damage, they will be able to stick around and fight and deal quite a bit. Arm and Beef, however, now needing to go ahead and do a tactical retreat as a, one Berserker unable to get away in time. All right, long distance mining was already taking place. Peons have already transferred over there. And Razorman has the expansion are ready. How is he going to transition this um, item advantage for Armin B, who ended up getting that Helm of a Valor? Perhaps um, he sold it for gold, really wanting some sort of aura item. Perhaps, um, perhaps a true shot aura and would have been the better item there. Meanwhile, Corrin Chief, or do we still have a Kodo being devour, or devouring anything? No, that was quickly taken down, and that is the downside of trying to, oh, nope, I take it back. The Berserker 
and is currently in the belly of the beast off over here spirit wolves now making their way off to the north but and purposely razorman actually keeping the kodo beast away from the rest of his army to not tip his hand to his opponent we are still only sitting at stronghold by razorman meanwhile we are Look at that fortress upgrade allowing for not only berserkers but bloodlust could make quite a bit of difference as the shamans will also have more mana for those purges. Nice stream, bro. Thank you. Thank you for stopping on by. All right. Forest Troll Berserkers. More units getting finished off here. Level 4, level 4. Farseer looking to get to level 5 and get those Shadow Wolves in the position. Orc Bro should perhaps be set up down across here as we know Shadow Wolves often like to harass Peon and just any sort of gold mine, uh, gold mine harvesting locations. Do I, you know, you know what? I, I remember Orc Mirror back in like 2000 and what, 2008 and 2008 Orc Mirror was just mass towers, hungry, hungry Kodos. So um, yeah, the, the current Orc Mirror definitely, definitely much better than in years past as we're looking at a potential flank from behind armin being able to come in from behind here catches opponent completely off guard and now well razorman trying to get back into the position here double and well a quick disenchant they're trying to finish off some of those units as the main army now instead pushing inside the main base orc burrows are not fortified at all they're going to end up taking quite a bit of damage all of these berserkers should yeah are should be in um, sh or in, in berserker mode to try and maximize that damage quickly and now getting in even more damage as well all right army gonna come in from behind lightning shield well home slight home field advantage for razorman as he does have the orc burrows but so many orc burrows are gonna get taken down and the farseer right here acting as a little bit of a door doorman being able to cause quite a bit of problem trying to finish off more of those units but unable to well completely shut down his opponent razorman now however upside down on supply 71 over 32 so any units lost by Razorman now will will take quite some time to replace. However, um, well, Razorman does have a quite large supply advantage over his opponent. How can Armin B try and get back into this game and build up a large enough army to capitalize on his dive to take down all of those orc burrows? <clears throat> <clears throat> Coming back through, Farseer sitting at level 5, Shadowhunter sitting at level 4, Torrin Chieftain still just sitting at level 1. If that Torrin Chieftain gets up to level 3, that will be a good indication for Armin that he is in a good spot once he has access to that level 2 um, stomp. Meanwhile, Kodo Beast also joining in on the battle for Armin B as well. The Shadow Wolves can cause some serious problems and they're just going to go ahead and well, hide, run away. And, and this is going to force Armin to just try and stay nearby with these two Shaman. All right, Shadow Wolves are going to try to get in a little bit of damage before Time Life comes to an end. Kodo is now making their way over. And finally, there is that quick, uh, well, quick Time Life end. 61 supply compared to 71. Um, nearly um, reverse 63 over 72, 71 over 62 as both sides are getting ready to engage and perhaps uh, fight it out here. Quick purge onto Razorman, forcing an engagement. Kodo Beast are fighting in the back. No one, no Kodos are able to engage at all. Hungry, hungry Kodos trying to try and line up a couple of easy targets. Kodo Beast in that front line spot of Armin, not nearly as dangerous as the Torrent Chieftain, able to spit and turn back around and then throw down a stomp. That stomp is going to be a big deal as the Farseer, Potion of Lesser Invulnerability, transfer it at the last possible moment able to stay alive but down to 86 hit points and now gets a healing wave to try and survive a little bit longer he's at 307 hit points he's gonna try and back away as everyone is still fighting every which way here all right shadow hunter now he's gonna be in trouble he's down to 253 hit points after a potion of healing and well um, more damage coming across here torrent chieftain armin in a lot of trouble losing the torrent chieftain as well only the level five farseer is alive in terms of the heroes as healing wave still all working on for Razor Man as a workhorse. Chain Lightning now bouncing around level five healing, level five for level three healing wave unlock for Razor Man, who should be able to win out in this war of attrition. However, there is still a lot of range damage coming back across here, trying to poke across a lot of these units. All right, Shadow Hunter and the Farseer looking to retreat back. Massive number of Berserkers able to break on through 46 supply compared to 45. But remember, Armin had 
Um, and Armin has the supply lead now. He was down 10, but he also lost two heroes, one of them being a level 4 Shadow Hunter, and that's going to take some time to replace. Both sides looking to regroup. Once again, Shadow Hunter low on mana, Farseer low on mana. Going to try and perhaps pick things up here. Squirrel of Speed going to come online, perhaps try and poke down some of these units as well. Kodo Beast should be the primary target since they will absorb so much damage, like Giant Pincushion. There goes one. Another Kodo Beast could get taken down as well if he is not careful. Units are now trying to well, retreat back once more as a second Kodo Beast of Razorman could get taken down. Farseer is just trying to bait the other other heroes to try and chase after him and it actually seems to be working razorman is actually going after chasing after two kodo bees lost 40 supply compared to 44 as the the two heroes are not going to be enough as especially since he's fighting next to his voodoo lounge should be able to use those potions of heal very very easily another purge goes down onto razorman's unit here 49 supply or 48 supply are we gonna see another purge perhaps trying to take that down as the kodo beast could try and finish it off once more all right, coming back through. Well, expansion here has been lost. Razor Man still mining away pretty easily, pretty regularly. Um, if you, um, Tony, um, Tommy, no, that is definitely not the case. If you look at Armin Beeves army composition it was mainly berserkers berserkers with that piercing damage going up against the orc burrows that did not have the fortified armor upgrade yet so it was because they didn't have the fortified armor upgrade the berserkers were able to deal much more damage to the burrows than the, the than the well fortified armor of the main hall even if it was only still at stronghold at the time coming back through um kodo is going to come back around here reduce uh, we do see the Farseer, um, well, has level 3 Chain Lightning and level 3 Spirit Wolves. Hopefully, hopefully that made sense if you, if you know about the armor types as well. Coming back around, the Great Hall does have um, spiked barricades, making the Shadow Wolves not want to attack the Great Hall at all, as one quick purge would be able to finish them off. Torrent Chieftain now back out onto the battlefield, just a sh well... I, I say just back out onto the battlefield, but he could get taken down here. Are we going to see a healing wave? There's the healing wave, but nothing else was actually close enough to try and stick around here as healing waves are still coming back across. Torrent Chieftain gets taken down for the second time. He did try and put his foot down, but still really didn't get far. All right, Spirit Walker and Raider also lost in that exchange. And with the Spirit Walker and the Raider lost, I think... Armin actually comes out ahead. He loses a level 1 Torrent Chieftain, only 170 gold to resurrect it. It resurrects really quickly and, and took out 6 supply off on the other end. Alright, coming back through. We are looking at 50 supply compared to 49. Is the Torrent Chieftain being resurrected? Yes, he is finally getting resurrected there. Both sides are still mining away. Meanwhile, there's still about 10 or 11 minutes of mining here compared to 12 minutes of mining here as the wolves going straight after those peons once more. Going to be able to rack up that damage. Farseer is here. Wants to add in some damage. There's a sentry ward. And well, that's going to be a quick purge and a quick death once again. Shamans low on mana, unable to get all that much. Meanwhile, Kodo Beast, nothing in their bellies at all either. It feels like Armin, because he went for those um, Berserkers, has an easier time taking out his opponent's Kodo Beast. And that is a very big deal. The Kodo Beast represent at least a 10%, if not 20% damage increase in the overall army. By having that large damage increase, they become high priority targets. Unfortunately for Razorman, his raiders and his grunts have to get within melee range to start dealing damage, and the Kodo Beast can then capitalize and, well, feast on that a lovely, lovely, delicious meal, so to speak, and, and eat those grunts and those raiders pretty quickly. All right, there's a little bit of damage and the quick purge once more, giving level 2 to the Torrent Chieftain, who now has access to Endurance Aura. Coming back around, Farseer sitting at level 6, Torrent Chieftain sitting at 5, uh, or sorry, not Torrent Chieftain, Shadow Hunter sitting at 5. Very good items, double mantles of intelligence coupled with a potion of mana. Razor Man could perhaps use that to his advantage as he does have level 3 healing wave. However, Armin is not far behind either. And if, well, 
All of these shadow wolves are continually given up and thrown up on the sacrificial altar of the shadow hunter's experience. The level advantage of Razor Man may become a moot or equalized in just a few moments. All right, shadow wolves trying to do um, uh, shadow wolves of Armin B trying to do the same exact thing that Razor Man's been doing throughout all this time has not been able to really capitalize there. There's a shadow wolf right there. One watchtower, just one watchtower would be enough to deal with this because there is that sentry ward. However, the shadow wolf looks like it will be able to capitalize on a bit of damage. There's a quick ensnare and death. Are we ready? Farseer looking to flank in from the far side here. Spirit Wolves ready to engage Shadow. Uh, Spirit Walker is perhaps going to try and get in a couple of disenchants. And the Shadow Wolves are going to be in position to go after all of these units in position. Torrent Chieftain quickly puts his foot down. Try to maximize that damage. In comes the Shadow Wolves as well. Scroll of Protection also being thrown down here. Chain Lightning bouncing around as the Kodo Beast both eat up two Raiders. Armin now with um, a slight advantage here with six supply in the belly and that Kodo Beast and da damage bonus. Units are trying to retreat back. 57 supply compared to 60. Razorman trying to hold onto this here as the Torrent Chieftain may try and throw down a stomp. Level 5 now on the Shadow Hunter. Level 3 Healing Wave is going to be a big boost for Armin here as he's continuing this fight. Armin level 6 on the Farseer. Farseer could be in trouble. Uses a scroll of Town Portal just in time. Healing Wave bouncing back around and all of these hit and run tactics making it extremely difficult to figure out who exactly is winning. We are nearly level 7 on Armin's, um, Armin's Farseer, level 7 would actually open up Earthquake here. Um, and opening up Earthquake would force an engagement as the Shadow Hunter would then be forced to quickly get a, a hex onto that Farseer, um, trying to close in on that distance. All right, taking more units out once again. Torin Chieftain still sitting at level 2, still not I'm close to level 3, but the remaining heroes are well still making their presence known <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah timing always always key here shadow hunter sitting at level five um perhaps going to be going into um well going into level three hex overall we can see the the what the sentry wards trying to keep track of where exactly that shadow wolf is shadow wolf now backing away once again Torin chieftain sitting at level two farseer sitting at level six and gonna get to level seven right there and what is that ultimate is he gonna unlock the ultimate ability yes he will getting that ultimate ability over farsight all right Torin chieftain Torin chieftain a shadow hunter and farseer all ready to go once more Farseer looking to head back here and perhaps um, heal up once again 47 supply compared to 50 and this is an odd scenario to be in both sides have expansions and both sides are actually staying in that no upkeep zone so a lot of gold is being spent on items um, at the shop as the shadow hunter now coming down in with two consumable items here where is the Farseer in this battle. Farseer right behind with two consumable items of his own. All right. Berserker. All right. Quick, quick purge. Quick death again once more. And just continually giving free experience. Razorman may actually come to regret giving his opponent so much free experience after all this time. All right. Units looking to back up once more. Uh, Spirit Wolf's trying to line up. Um, a big fight should be coming in. We are 30 minutes into this game, even though both sides are sitting on relatively small armies. Very high level heroes for relatively small armies as well, especially since both sides do have expansions. 4,000 gold compared to 6,000 gold. 10 minutes of mining versus, what, uh, 7 or 6 and a half. As we're looking to see, well, are they actually going to try and go up against each other anytime soon? All uh, right. Shadow Wolf once again disappears again healing wave um this sentry ward just needed to be placed right here and that would have been all the difference in the world to keep track of these wolves before they're able to cause too much of a problem i believe the witch doctor has already been taken out as well three kodo beasts and getting well body blocked by those shadow wolves and getting ready and getting ready to get into position here torrent chieftain still sitting at level two 
Armin may be able to muster up this strong comeback here as the Shadow Wolves once more cause problems um, at the expansion location. In, meanwhile, in comes in from the other side. Shadow Hunter quickly gets ensnared. Torrent Chieftain trying to close in on that distance. There's Lightning Shield, and there is a Stomp right there. Quick disenchant on that Lightning Shield, though, but the Stomp is still there as damage is adding up. Shadow Hunter could have problems, and Armin loses that Shadow Hunter. Yes, he loses that Shadow Hunter, giving Razorman level 6. Suddenly, Big Bad Voodoo is going to be out onto the battlefield. Torrent Chieftain needs to come back over. He needs to get a stomp onto the Big Bad Voodoo of Razorman. Razorman knew that the other Shadow Hunter was taken down, and by not having the other Shadow Hunter there, he was able to um, dodge any sort of hexes. Armin now gets up to level 3 on the Torrent Chieftain. He throws down a stomp there. Was the Big Bad Voodoo long enough to make a big difference? That is the question, as the Torrent Chieftain is now stuck in this scenario. 40 supply compared to 47. Level 3 Torrent Chieftain does fall. Shadow Hunter trying to finish off the uh, Farseer. Farseer down to 300 hit points. He sees a quick hex onto that there. And that is going to be the... Uh, well, nope. Farseer finally gets taken down. It looks like he was going to be able to escape for a split second. 47 supply compared to 21. And all it took was, what, one minute and one mistake leading with the Shadow Hunter in the very, very front. And Armin says, clearly time for bed and making the wrong mistake at that wrong time. Beautiful, beautiful read by Razorman. And Razorman to actually know Shadow Hunter was taken down. Um, with the removal of the Shadow Hunter, long distance um, well, uh, channeling breaking was lost, allowing the uh, Shadow Hunter to go for Big Bad Voodoo at level 6. Torrin Chieftain was trying to get closer to the target, unable to get there as in snares were going down. And that gave Razorman just enough time for a, a completely invincible army. All you needed was 5 to 7 seconds as we saw there. And that was what the, got the ball rolling. Beautiful game. Great ending. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope to see you guys next time.